Hey, what's going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video. And as you probably know, Apple has released the first public beta of the new iOS 26. Now, alongside with that, they have also released a re-release of the fourth beta of iOS 26. So in today's video, I will show you guys how you can quickly switch from the dev beta to the public beta if you just want to do so. Let's first take a moment to take a look at Cleanup Pro, an easy way to free up a ton of storage on your iPhone by using their AI cleaning tool or just manually cleaning anything that you don't need. You simply go ahead and select what you want to clean. From your duplicated photos to similar photos, blurred photos, your oversized photos or videos, and screenshots as well. Now, once you have selected one of the sections, you can go ahead and select manually here what you want to delete. You can go ahead and delete anything you don't need as easy as that and not just cleaning photos you don't need it also offers an ai function to repair old and blurry photos simply select any photo you want and tap the enhance button in a couple of seconds you will have amazing results you can go ahead and then save the result on your photos library so this is cleanup pro you can go ahead and try it out by checking the link right down below in the description of the video now, first of all, just to mention that there's actually no certain reason for you to do so. If you're currently on the dev betas of iOS 26, you just update to the latest release and you already have basically the same update as the public beta. So they are both the same update, the public beta that was released, the first one, and of course the re-release of the fourth beta they're the exact same. But if you just decide you wanna to switch to the public beta, this is how you do it. Simply head on to your settings. There are two different cases in which you can do this. You can switch to the public beta if you're on iOS 26 dev beta one, two, or three. Or if you're on the beta four, but not the re-release that they released alongside the public beta. If you have installed the one that was released together with the public beta, then you won't be able to switch. But if you have any of the older ones, this is how you do it. Simply head on to your settings, go to general right here, and then go under software update. And what you will see right here is your fourth beta if you're currently on the dev beta of course and then all you have to do is just go right here and then just switch to the public beta as easy as that in a couple of seconds you can switch as you can see right there i have the fourth beta update this is of course the re-release because if you have this installed the re-release then you won't see anything right there and you won't be able to switch but if you haven't installed the re-release or you're on, on any of the earlier betas of ios 26 then simply switch to the public beta here and then go back and there you have it you can see now it says ios 26 beta and it doesn't say ios 26 beta 4 which means that this is the public one and from here you can just go ahead and simply update your device now one thing to keep in mind actually two different things these are the exact same update so a lot of people just feel more comfortable with actually just switching to the public beta or having the public beta installed but they're the exact same update and then the next thing you need to know is that if you decide to switch to the public beta you're actually going to get the next updates a day later so usually apple will release the dev beta on a monday and then later on like a few hours later or maybe a day after it will actually release the public beta of that same update so we're expecting the fifth beta of ios 26 to be released on the fourth and then the second public beta most likely will be released in the fifth though just keep that in mindset if you switch to the public beta you're getting the updates from now on a day later so that's basically for this video guys this is how quickly you can switch from the dev beta to the public beta of ios 26 hope you guys enjoyed the video and found it helpful if you did smash that like button and of course subscribe for more and i will see you on the next one